Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. Today we will be covering everything about ethical hacking in detail. What are the steps if you want to get into the domain? What are the resources? And uh, yes, today we have a special guest. Her name is also Soumya. So welcome Soumya. Let me introduce you to her. She is an assistant manager at Deloitte with over five years of experience. She is a cyber security enthusiast and a programmer who has helped various organizations including banks and insurance company to improve their security posture. So I got to know about Soumya from one of the community events at GDG, Google Developer Community. There was an event. She was a co-speaker there. I literally loved her talk and thought of inviting her to my channel, to this channel, Get Up With Soumya, which is managed by Newton School. So yes, I mean, ethical hacking is something which my audience always was like excited to know about so once again welcome Soumya thank you for inviting me to your channel and um, yeah so let's uh, I'm, I'm just gonna share my screen and let's start with the presentation yes. yeah so the topic is how to start your ethical hacking journey the right way. So as Soumya told you guys that I'm an ethical hacker, I was a programmer in my initial days of career and then I switched to ethical hacking. So I have over five years of experience with software development and ethical hacking. I have attained my OSCP certification last year. We'll talk about that. And I help organizations like e-commerce, websites, insurance companies, banking sectors, and, uh, you know, companies who are overseas, you know, overseas companies to secure their applications, network, mobile applications, cloud, etc. I, on weekends, I love to solve CTF. And uh, here is my Twitter and LinkedIn link if you want to connect. So the agenda for today is we'll start with what is ethical hacking, types of ethical hackers, how you can start your career in uh, ethical hacking, how you can use some cool resources to learn ethical hacking and to practice CTF and to practice for various certifications. We'll talk about certifications as well. What all certifications can get you really high paying jobs and high profiles in reputed companies. Then we'll have a quick intro to bug bounties and um, then I'll share links of some people who are very well known in the cybersecurity community and you should follow them on Twitter and YouTube to increase or to keep yourself updated with the cybersecurity stuff. So let's start with what is ethical hacking. So it's an art. So basically what ethical hackers do, I have written here. Uh, so ethical hacking is basically hacking, but with consent. So we do the same stuff that the bad guys do initially, try to hack into web applications, network, we try to hack mobile applications, and we find security loopholes. And then we try to exploit those loopholes and get foothold of the network or get, uh, you know, critical data, customer data or employee data. And once we find that, we, instead of, you know, leaking the data on dark web or selling data or, you know, compromising the network, we, we inform the organization that, uh, okay, look, this is the vulnerability that your network or your web application has, and you need to fix it. And we also provide the steps that the developers should take to fix or to patch the vulnerability. So ethical hacking is basically that in a gist. There are three types of ethical hackers, which uh, in general, so white hat, black hat, and gray hat. 
white hat hackers are the ones are the ethical hackers they are the ones who basically do all the security stuff they secure organizations and you know they test the organizations they test their assets and they secure them and basically they aid the organizations to secure them black hat guys are the bad guys the cyber criminals who basically hack for you know to leak data to sell data or to compromise web applications or network and basically they do the destructive things gray hat hackers are well they are a mix of both so they intend to be ethical they start with you know testing the uh, applications or the network uh, and they they try to do the ethical stuff but sometimes they they do the you know they do compromise the organization's data for their personal use so these are the three type of ethical hackers that are known in general so talking about career in ethical hacking there are a lot of areas that are there so we have network security we have application security we have penetration testers red teams blue teams so to give an a little bit idea about these areas so a network security engineer is, is basically we basically test the entire network infrastructure of an organization so we are given let's say a range of ip addresses and we are asked to do all the reconnaissance on those ip what all ports are open what all services are are there on those ips if there is any web application we'll try to hack into the web application if there is let's say an ftp port open an ftp service running we'll try and uh, brute force and try to log in into the ftp service we'll try to find if any vulnerable version is there and we'll try to exploit it and get a foothold of you know that server application is basically where we test particular application as uh, the security of that particular application a mobile application or a product you know uh, so application security testing is that penetration testing is basically when we try to test the web applications and you know try to find vul- vulnerabilities in them red teams are basically very interesting red teams are basically a team of ethical hackers that are hired by an organization so basically what they do is they try to you know compromise the organization in any way they can so they will do all the reconnaissance about the organization they will even send phishing emails to the employees and try to you know put malware on their systems or um you know uh, get sensitive credentials they will try to hack the web applications they will try to get into the network in- infrastructure but all this is done with the consent of the company that they are hacking so it's just to the companies do that in order to test the uh, this, the entire security posture of uh you know their employees their network their web applications or any other product that are there so red teaming is that blue teaming is on the defensive side so red teaming is offensive and blue teams are the one who detect such kind of activity so if there is like a lot of request coming on their server they will they their job is to detect that and see what is going on if there is someone who is hacking or who is gaining uh, try, uh, who is trying to gain access to their servers so blue team is that so uh, these are not all the areas of ethical hacking it's it's a vast uh, you know domain so it's so what i've told here is uh, you know one uh, like the popular ones that uh, there are and um, going forward so how do you make a career out of it so first of all we will discuss these points in detail we we'll, uh, so first of all you need to get your basics right uh, you need to learn about linux you need to learn about windows you need to learn about 
uh, Linux commands, Windows commands, basic scripting. You need to develop your knowledge about cybersecurity concepts. You need to go through, through some open source trainings or paid ones if you want. You need to practice a lot. There are, op- you know, websites that are there to help you do that. And you need to keep yourself updated, follow uh, people and pages on Twitter uh, and follow their tweets. What all new hacking concepts or vulnerabilities are there? Uh, You need to keep yourself updated with that. So starting with first point, getting your basics right. So the first thing that everybody does when they get into, you know, when, when they start their ethical hacking journey is to set up Kali and uh, set up VMware and then set up Kali. So I'll, I'll just show you what uh, VMware is if you don't. If you haven't seen one, this is a VMware. So it's basically to, you know, host an an operating system inside another operating system. So Kali is, is, is an OS that we use a lot. We'll just wait for it to load. And meanwhile, let's go to another point. Uh, you can go to Try Hack Me. This is a very, very good website for beginners. So here you can go to learn. It's free. Some of the course, some some of the trainings are paid, but most of it is free. So here you can go and look what path suit you. So you can start with complete big beginner, and here you can get all the, you know, tabs that you can try. Here you will get the tutorials and then you can start your attack box where you will, uh, you know, practice to hack or you can practice to, you know, get a basic uh, security knowledge. So this is Try Hack Me. I did this a lot during my initial days. I don't do it anymore uh, because I don't have the time, honestly. And uh, plus it's it's good for big beginners but after that, I I prefer another website, which I'll tell you later. So yeah, so you can start up with Try Hack Me. Then you can also learn some coding skills. I prefer Python, but you can use Bash as well. So do that and uh, set up Kali. You need you will need that for various things. So this is basically. Kali and uh, here you will get a lot of tools for web application, password attacks, reverse engineering, exploitation. So it's it's a pretty good OS for hackers. Set up that and moving forward. Once you are done with that, go to OWASP and learn about web application uh, vulnerabilities. It's very favorable. It's very famous. So there are these vulnerabilities that are popular and you can learn about them and how to hack them and find them in a website. And this is Portswigger. It's a pretty good website for practice. So here you can get all the technical stuff. You can learn about SQL injection, XSS. You have a lot of labs for this. Uh, easy lab then you will have medium labs right so you can learn it's it's a very good site to upskill your uh, knowledge for web application hacking okay so dvwa is basically a, a website which is vulnerable on purpose so you have to find bugs and uh, you have to exploit them So DVWA is that. Yeah, so talking about trainings, you can go go to TCM for that. It's paid, but it's pretty good. They have various courses and they have a certification as well, which is PNPT, which is a pretty good certification. It's new, so it's not that popular, but it's pretty good. 
So if you want a good course and, uh, you know, I think it's a five day course and it covers a lot of things that are there in cyber uh, security. So it's uh, basically one of the good courses to pursue. Then, yeah, Nahamsek is one of the YouTubers and a bug bounty hunter that you should follow. He has a lot of playlists for hacking. He also has, you know, a course on Udemy. Yeah, so this is the course. I have been following this as well. So here you can, uh, you know, it's it's pretty cheap. And he has, you know, uh, promo codes all the time. He posted, uh, he posts that on Twitter. You, you can go through that for web hunting, web application and bug hunting. So this is a pretty good, uh, you know, a course and a pretty good YouTube channel to follow. Farah Hawa is basically, she makes amazing content on bug hunting and other concepts on cyber security. So she is another person that you can follow and get and, you know, uh, update your, yourself. Coming next, uh, okay, open source. And these are some ethical hackers that have made, that are, you know, uh, famous in the community. uh, Cyber Mentor is basically the owner of TCM and he has this PNP, uh, uh, PNPT certification as well. And he, you know, posts regular uh, live streaming on Twitch and YouTube. So you can follow him. Uh, He's pretty good. He is on Twitter as well. John is another creator who, uh, you know, uh, makes good content on hacking. So he basically, you know, if any new type of bug is found or if, you know, you know, a a recently logged 4J shell was found a couple of months back. So he made a good video on that as well. So he he's another good person to follow. Stock is another pretty good YouTube channel. Nahamsek, we have talked about him. Also, you can follow these pages, Hacker One and Bug Crowd. So they are basically, yeah, so this is the page. Hacker One basically is a bug bounty platform. We'll talk about bug uh, bounties in a while. So Hacker One basically companies host their uh, uh, programs on Hacker One and Bug Crowd. And basically they reward hackers who find good vulnerabilities in their application. So you can follow this Hacktivity Hacker One page where here you can see people have reported vulnerabilities on various pro, uh, programs on Sony, on Reddit. So you can check these out. It's updated and uh, you can find how real world, you know, in real world hackers find bugs and report them. So it's it's a pretty good page to follow. Another one, same as Bug Crowd. Uh, here also you can find, you know, uh, the latest bugs. Then we'll move to how we can practice hacking. So the topmost thing to practice is so hack the box is one where you can practice. I am not able to log in. Yeah, maybe the audience can, uh, you know. Uh, maybe we'll give the link of all these platforms and they can check this out on their own no yeah i think yeah sure so hack the box is one where you can practice um, you know various labs so they have web web application hacking network hacking uh, cloud ha- cloud and mobile hacking so you it's a good page for that and is Another one and offensive security is basically labs by of offensive sec- uh, security. They, they have a lot of uh, certifications as well that are pretty popular. So for certifications, the most popular ones are OSCP, OSWE, CRTP and PNPT. OSCP is basically a 48 hour exam. And you have like five IPs and you need to get into them. Uh, You need need to get a foothold and you need to get privilege escalation. So OSCP is that. OSWE is for the web. 
uh, CRTP is focused on red teaming and PNPT is again similar to what OFCP does, but they do claim that they do it in a more practical way. So certifications, these are the certifications that you can pursue. Talking about bug Bounties, it's a great way for, you know, cybersecurity professionals to practice their skill and to earn money. So the most common bug bounty platform are Bug Crowd and uh, HackerOne. You can make an account on these and you can choose a program and start hacking with that. So it's, it's pretty good for bug bounties. Here are some famous bug bounties bounties that you know uh, were given to people so you can see that on your screen so yeah i mean that's all for intro and uh, yeah i mean so bug bounties are basically they take a lot of time you need to have patience for that you will not earn money in a month or in two months it will take time but eventually it's a great way to showcase your skills and to build up your cybersecurity platform. So that's it for the slide. I hope I was able to explain a little bit about how you can get into security. Awesome. This was very, very detailed, uh, Soumya, and we literally loved all the slides and all the information. I'm sure our audience have got a lot of idea about how to get started into ethical hacking world. Thanks a lot for taking out time and sharing all the knowledge with our audience. And to the people watching, make sure you check out Soumya's profile. She is active out there on some social media platform. We will put all the links that she will share with us in the description below or maybe in the first comment and we will pin it. Also, if you want to learn coding, Newton School's coding batches have started. Go ahead and check out the first bit.ly link from this description below. Thanks a lot once again, Soumya, for uh, tuning in and sharing your knowledge with us. Thank you. Bye-bye, everyone.